Here we have open the applique design from Alphalicious. We know that it's an applique design because it has three color breaks. So the first one is our placement stitch, next one is our tack down, and the third one is our finishing stitch. So to create a cut file from this, we're going to select our placement stitch, click on the color chip, and this normally allows us to choose a color from our um, various thread palettes in the program. If we click on the applique tab, we need to give this running stitch a job. It's set to not applique, so we're going to change it to applique position. If you click simulated, you'll actually see what the cut file will look like. It'll fill in this area and create it. Now to the right here, you have an inflation value. This is if we set this to zero, this fabric cutting line will be right along the running stitch. So exactly what you see on the screen is what will cut. So let me save this and I'm going to call this, whoops, I put the save screen in here. You can first of all save to any of the formats that are listed here from SVG down to studio, which is for the silhouette or sure cuts a lot. Any one of these formats you can uh, save to. So we're going to save to studio format and this is our T Texas 3 inch studio and where it says 3 inch I'm actually going to type in underscore and type in zero. That means that tells me that this cut file is going to have zero inflation. So it saved it. If I change this to say 1.5 which is means that this cut line is going to be 1.5 millimeters larger and I'm going to save this again and as opposed to zero, I'm going to type in uh, one underscore five so that I know I can't put a dot because of the way you name your files, but I'm going to put one underscore five, so that's one five, 1 1.5 millimeters, and click save. And just for fun, I'm going to change this to three and click save. And in my dialog, I will obviously change this to underscore three and click save. I have opened two of my saved cut files into my Silhouette Studio software. The top is at zero set inflation and the bottom is three millimeters. We can see that when you overlap these two, this is a significant difference in the size of the cut file applique shape created by the Embrilliant software one with a zero inflation, the second with three millimeter inflation. In Brilliance Essentials allows you to save cut file shapes with the value of inflation that you choose. It is completely customizable and may be different for each project depending on what you're going to be stitching on.